Hey there, thank you so much for clicking to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you a very cool cold email domain setup and account setup system that allows you to save a lot of time when setting up different domains. This can be either used by uh, yourself or if you are using that for your client, this could speed up your process 10 times at least. So let me show you the system. This is composed of two different parts. One is uh, a Google Sheets uh, account. Uh, uh, Google Sheets file, so this file over here, and the other part is uh, a make.com scenario. So first off, I'm gonna run you through the system, and secondly, I'm gonna show you how to set up the system if you wanna set up yourself. So this is the system itself. This is the file uh, here. Um, the first file is called domains, and this is the file that you, uh, you would have to compile uh, usually. So first off, you buy your domains, you have all your domains inside uh, GoDaddy. So this system uh, at the moment only works uh, using GoDaddy, but uh, this could also be implemented with other parts such as Cloudflare. But let me show you the system as it is uh, with GoDaddy right now. So what I do here is I compile the system uh, with, uh, uh, I compile this file with uh, a couple of uh, uh, domains that I bought. So here I have the domain. What I do here is I uh, choose the setup type. So I can either choose a, a Gmail or Outlook. And uh, right now I'll choose one of Gmail and two of Outlook. You would need to add this information. Uh, this first one is for the Google verification. So if you search on Google, uh, verify domain Google, um, uh, you will find uh, what you need to do and you would have to paste the code over here. And then uh, if you search uh, setup DKIM Google, you will find uh, the DKIM selector here for Google. Then uh, when it comes to uh, DKIM selector for Outlook, those are automatically created. So those are automatically created based on uh, the domain. And uh, default DK DKIM selector is one that you would have to add. And this is usually the account that you, uh, that you use for uh, signing up uh, with uh, Outlook. So it's also important if you are doing Outlook accounts uh, to have those added inside uh, your Microsoft 365 accounts. So here you add uh, uh, the default DKIM selector. It should always be the same depending on which account you uh, select. And then you, uh, you type ready to launch here to make sure that domain setup is set correctly. You compile the redirects. So here I'm doing that. And right now, obviously I'm doing that very slowly, but obviously once you have a lot of accounts, uh, you, you can do that once and then you compile all the information at the same time. And uh, the last information that you have here is number of accounts. You can either choose between one account per domain, two accounts per domain, or three accounts per domain, as it is right now, but this could be easily uh, increased. So let me uh, do uh, two, one, and three, for example. The usernames are automatically generated. This is name, name uh, plus first letter of the uh, last name, or name dot last name. Here you add uh, a password. So let me add a password, a random password here. And uh, now the setup for uh, the first part, the domain part is done. So what you do right now is you, uh, you go at the top and you click bulk domain setup and this will trigger a make workflow, uh, a make workflow. So this is the, the make workflow, the make workflow as a trigger here. So here you would have to choose the webhook and uh, you will need to uh, create the webhook and then add the webhook to the template. But this is something that I'm going to show you later. So um, this, uh, uh, so when you click this button, this triggers this uh, uh, make template. You, uh, this checks for the domains uh, that have uh, uh, the domains that have the uh, ready to launch uh, um, true and the uh, setup done to false. So uh, there are no duplicates here. And then based on either, uh, based on either they are Gmail, it goes here and does all the things related to Gmail. So Google verification, DKM, and makes records, SPF, DMAR, custom tracking and uh, uh, domain forwarding 
or Outlook setup and this is the part related to uh, Outlook setup and finally uh, what they both do is mark this setup as done so you do that you click that and this part is uh, um, this part related to adding the DNS information inside the um, inside uh, GoDaddy is automatically done so you don't have to do the process manually um, uh, afterwards. Uh, the, the custom tracking here is set up to be the smart lead custom tracking at the moment but uh, you can change this to whatever tool you use. Um, after you did that and uh, the setup is done after you and uh, by the way this happens uh, when you click this uh, 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 this uh, button over here after you do that what you do is you generate the accounts and uh, uh, the generation of the accounts happens in two different uh, sheets one for the uh, Outlook accounts and one for the Google accounts so uh, as you see the, the generation was finished if we go here to the uh, Microsoft 365 accounts we see the format of uh, those uh, uh, Microsoft accounts and also here as you can see we only add one for uh, the first email and three for uh, the other one as we mentioned over here one and three so here we have all the information display name job title and then there's this part that is required by um, by Outlook but this is just dummy data that uh, you can modify if you want uh, then here you have the Google accounts so the Google accounts are automatically created at this point what you do is you click on file you download those you download the CSV and you add those automatically to uh, to your either to your Google workspace accounts or to your main uh, um, Outlook 365 accounts so this drastically reduces the time to uh, do both account creation as well as uh, uh, domain creation and uh, now let me show you a um, couple of things that you need to uh, do to set it up correctly first off here you need to go to extensions you need to click on app script when you are here uh, app script will have one single variable that you would have to change which is the ma uh, make web uh, webhook URL so this needs to be changed uh, based on the one that you have here so you enter in, you you import the uh, you import the make blueprint here you go here you, you click on add and you create a new webhook so for example you create a domain setup domain automation Once this is created, you will have a uh, URL over here. You copy the uh, address URL over here and you just change that over here. Make sure to save it and uh, uh, there's nothing that you, can, uh, that you need to do here inside. If you want, you can, you can modify the information about uh, office number, office phone, mobile phone, all that jazz, but if not, you can leave it as is. And uh, yeah. Other than that, the only thing that you would need to add is create a connection to GoDaddy. So you create a connection, make sure it's a production environment. You get the API key and the API secret. And uh, here in get customer ID data, you make sure to get the customer ID data. And uh, uh, in this way, the system works uh, fine and you don't have any problem around that. So uh, hope uh, this was useful. If you are looking for any other tutorials on how to set up uh, uh, cold email systems or how to streamline different parts uh, uh, related to cold email, just message me um, or uh, email me at ricardo at upliftedconsulting.com. Hope this was useful. Uh, down in the description, you can also find the files and uh, uh, keep improving and keep optimizing your businesses.